What's up everyone? Julia here. And Trent. And we're here with episode 3 of She-Hulk. The People vs. Emil Blonsky, aka Abomination. After the final scenes in the last episode where the video footage of Wong vs. Abomination in the underground cage fighting ring from Shang-Chi got leaked to the public. Yeah. How is Jen going to deal with that? Yes. It gets messy. Let's check it out. Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Ah, she's Walk walking. With yeah, walking through it with more confidence. To me why you failed to mention that you not only escaped from prison, but you were also recorded doing so? You said to my face that you never turn into the abomination anymore. No, I said I choose, choose not, not to. to. Uh, you know, these were extenuating circumstances. Do you understand that this constitutes another crime and totally destroys your chances at parole? Well, <laughs> no, because huh? I was forced to leave my cell, but I returned of my own free will. Who forced you <laughs> so to escape back. this insanely high security prison undetected? A sorcerer supreme of the mystic arts, and his name is Wong. Wong. Just Wong, and his internet presence is a little chaotic. <laughs> He's either a sorcerer who lives in New York, or <laughs> a librarian who lives in Nepal. This guy busted him out of his prison cell and probably ruined my entire case. I know you can't wait to see Wong. I get it. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. That's not. Well, except Bruce. And Blonsky. <laughs> and Wong. Just remember whose show this actually is. Yeah. Yeah. It's Shoki's show. I love the fourth wall break so much. It's just fun. Ahora el hashtag the big green woman, la gran mujer verde, se ha convertido en tendencia mundial. She's trending. But then they gave it to a woman? Yeah, but I don't get it. Why are you doing everything? Oh, Jesus, like Twitter. Yeah, but the male heroes. I have no problem with female heroes. I'm just saying, make your own. I don't know about y'all, but I'd smash. On the line, we have... Ms. Walters is head of the Superhuman Law Division. Mm -mm. We have too much history for me to be comfortable with her on the case. I would love to know what this is about and not work on it. <laughs> you wanted to see me? Ah, yes. Mallory Book is also in the Superhuman Law Division. Yeah. No, I yeah. can't talk to a 10 about embarrassing man stuff. She could be my next fiance. Happy to not be involved. <laughs> <laughs> He's all yours. Cool. Yeah, I'll take him. He's been defrauded by an ex-girlfriend and wants to file a suit against her to get his money back. Yeah. Bought her jewelry. Flew her to Bali for a photo shoot. Paid off her Volkswagen Passat. Subscribe to... But why to the Superhuman Law Division? The girlfriend in question is a shape-shifting light elf from <laughs> New Asgard. <laughs> wow, yes. Okay, well, to be fair, I thought I was dating Megan the Stallion. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, you thought you were dating Megan the Stallion? A multiple Grammy Award winner, megastar Megan Thee Stallion. What part of Shapeshifter did you not get? <laughs> I thought she drove a Passat. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Well, Grace, you received your message. Uh, Mr. Wong. Great entrance. Perfect timing. I really <laughs> need to take this. You may go. Everything Mr. Blonsky told you is factual. I extracted him from the prison uh, against his own wishes. Because I required a worthy opponent as part of my training to become Sorcerer Supreme. And as Sorcerer Supreme, I insist that he not be punished for my actions. Uh, again, <laughs> I am not the one who will be punishing it's him. Not Sorcerer the Supreme will not release him after seeing this video. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Miss Walters. I'm not erasing everyone's memories, not again. That's not what I was thinking, then. It's highly unethical. Yeah, it's also very messy, believe me. Okay. We'll send him to the mirror dimension. I don't know what that is, but no. Shadow dimension? <laughs> what you can do to help is show up at the hearing and explain everything. Very well. We'll reserve sorcery for strategy. <laughs> don't tap your nose. He <laughs> <laughs> went really messy with that spider guy. Okay, uh, considering <laughs> that you bought her a mid sized sedan, how about 50,000? Yeah. 100. Mm. 200. 200,000? I am not a fool. Hi. No, it's more like 175. 175,000 dollars. I'm gonna start building your case, and I will be in touch, Mr. Bukowski. Ugh. <clears throat> Don't bro in a law firm. <laughs> What's up, bro? How's it hanging, man? Um, I got a change of heart. 
I'm gonna drop the case. Wait, wait, wait. just now? You so just... The truth is, I think somewhere deep inside, I knew, you know? I gave those things because I wanted to. I was just embarrassed to get is this the found shape out in such a public yeah. way. Has but to. at some point in time, you gotta take personal responsibility. And now I have a, I got a story to tell. <sighs> Sorry, mister. Oh. This is Bob. Hey, man. I think somebody told my cyber truck. They're saying it was a yep. handicapped spot. I swear <laughs> it was a cyber truck. <laughs> On the floor because I drive a cyber truck. Security! <laughs> I love harassing women in the workplace. It's my kick, baby. No! Be a war. <laughs> Dramatic exit. For the possible release of such Wait, is that her? She Hulk, can we get a word? Is it true you were rejected by the Avengers? Jennifer Walters, also known as She Hulk, rumored to have been rejected by the Avengers. Uh. Hey, are you ready for this? Yeah. His um, wife. Those your pen pals. Oh, yeah. I don't understand how a guy with zero commute time is white. We are here today to determine whether Emil Blonsky is suitable for return to society after having served his minimum sentence in light of recent evidence of a prison escape i think we all know how this is going to go so let's keep this brief we do have a witness who is able to clear mr blonsky of any wrongdoing on his part then we'll start with that then well uh he yes the the witness is prepared to give a statement after mr blonsky gives his are we really mm -hmm. entertaining the idea of releasing someone who's been documented escaping from prison now hold on, Mr. Blonsky. Do you feel you have been rehabilitated? Uh. Yeah. Let's start by saying that I feel great remorse, great shame to those that I've harmed. So to answer your question, yes, I feel I have been rehabilitated. I've been writing haikus. Karmically, cosmically, interdimensionally. Etc. What Mr. Blonsky is trying to say is that the man you see before you is not the same Emil Blonsky as before. Mr. Blonsky is currently in a long-term committed <laughs> relationship with several pen pals. Um, all of Hello. whom have pledged to financially support him. Excuse me, if I could... I honestly thought they were going with Thunderbolts, and now no. is it... Blair, they're, Ruth, they're right Marta, there. Marta, Sheila, Alejandra, Yvonne, and Nicolette are my soulmate. They are my better aides. <laughs> he started the prison's literacy program. He's helped countless prisoners learn how to read. He leads daily guided meditation and yoga for the prisoners. Oh, good character references. The library's the perfect because place to shoot people. Mr. Blonsky's escape. Where's Wong? Uh, so there were extenuating circumstances that uh, the uh, witness will explain. There he is. <laughs> My apologies, Miss Walter Swimmel. Ah, finally, Wong here today because he is the man responsible for Emil Blonsky leaving prison. And I do think you will see this whole thing in a totally different light after hearing from him. No pressure, Wong. Have you ever heard of a comité? Mm -mm. <laughs> Runa is the daughter of an elfin diplomat on Asgard and now in new Asgard. Did you know about this? As such, Runa. she has diplomatic immunity. She may have diplomatic immunity in new Asgard, but we are not in new Asgard. Excuse me, your honor, but Asgard is not a place. It is a people. people. Therefore, Thor's I inspirational speeches are not admissible <laughs> in court. <laughs> My client and Mr. Bukowski were in a consensual relationship and engaged in role play. Oh, no <laughs> rational adult would have believed my client's texts were from the real Megan the Stallion. Mr. Bukowski knew he was dating Miss Runa and went along with it until it no longer suited him. I did not. This was a relationship gone bad, not a scam. Mr. Bukowski was blinded by love. He absolutely <laughs> believed that he was dating the real Megan the Stallion. I must say. I find it hard to believe that Mr. Bukowski could be fooled so easily. And the onus is on you to prove that, Mr. Pugliese. That being said, I'll allow this to go to trial. Because they named the comic version of Valkyrie Runa. So that's it. that's interesting. And when this is over, I'm cancelling my Hollywood hookup subscription. There's clearly no vetting process. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. 
In light of some new information I've just received, I'm changing my ruling. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Well, Runa's not there. Come on, Runa. This is getting a little broad. <laughs> Impersonating a judge is illegal. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good for us. <laughs> <laughs> In regard to Mr. Blonsky vacating his cell, I gave him no choice. But it was absolutely his choice to return. I offered him asylum at Kamataj, which is truly lovely this time of the year. But he was quite <laughs> adamant he'd be returned to serve out his sentence and repay his debt to society. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank God, Wong. And even when offered instant freedom, he chose to return to his cell. These are not the actions of a criminal, but of a reformed man. Unfortunately, some of them have their mind made up already. Right mm. Well, that may be true yep. of Neil Blonsky, but I mean, when Blonsky uncontrollably becomes abomination, isn't he a raging monster out for blood? Oh. Excuse me. If I could just put your minds at ease. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. Hang on a sec. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Emil. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jen, just transforming. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he's so happy. As you can see, I'm in full control. Oh, I'm not used to that voice. Yeah. Except he's gonna be nude. I'm used to the abomination with this voice. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg you to forgive me. They asked for Mr. proof Hunt's of control. Uh, yeah, they did. Enthusiasm. He he didn't intend to frighten anyone. This proves that in every instance, Mr. Blonsky could have broken free, but has chosen to remain in his cell. As his stellar prison record reflects, Mr. Mm. Blonsky spent his entire incarceration practicing a strict regimen of training and self-discipline so that he <laughs> may walk among his fellow citizens with no chance of becoming a rampaging abomination again. He deserves a future as a free man and a productive citizen. She kept her composure. Thank you, Miss Walters. And as for Mr. Wong, just one. The Sorcerer Supreme, Master of the Mystic Arts, leader and former... <laughs> <Mother of the, laughs> yeah. You realize that you've just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. That was Jennifer Walters rushing by, undoubtedly hoping to avoid the protesters that are gathered just outside the gates here. Oh, no. I'm going into my car, and some protester has written on it, Monster Defending a Monster. This can go away, uh, you know, with one little interview. Good day, LA is thirsty for you. No. Public, you. Uh, public perception. perception. Yeah. I cannot wait for this to be over so I can go back to being a normal, anonymous lawyer. Who also happens to be a Hulk. No, I don't want this. <laughs> oh my god, you're pregnant with the abominations baby. <laughs> and you're flaunting all over the Good God, Dennis Bukowski. Oh, yeah, no, you're gonna need that. <laughs> Connecting the A and B story. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the man is almost terminally deluded. I'd call him gross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. gross. Hey, would you be willing to say that under oath? <laughs> I swear the testimony I'm about to give today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Hey, Peter, how is Jen our best option? I gave you a whole list of my boys. Jen is gonna my boys. My this. boys. Trust me. Did he ever share his personal life with you, specifically his dating life? Yes, he would. Uh, prolifically and unprompted. Yeah, he wanted to all know, of the time. How would you characterize Mr. Bukowski in relation to his romantic life? Self-absorbed, chauvinistic. <laughs> Conceded. He once described himself as a New York 10 and an LA 11. <laughs> <laughs> he named his office the Denisphere. Objection. The Denisphere. In your opinion, Miss Walters, do you think that Dennis Bukowski would believe that he could actually pull Megan the Stallion? Yes. Dennis Bukowski <laughs> is an almost pathologically entitled man. He would absolutely believe that he's dating the real Megan Thee Stallion. He's so into he's himself. Really he's got a massive him. ego. No further questions. He's so. full of himself. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that humbled him a bit. I award full damages to Dennis Bukowski in the amount of $175,000. In addition, we also sentenced the defendant to 60 days for impersonating a judge. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's right. There's only one making a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you guys think I, had I like the fan. Megan the stallion? Should what I go back? Company? No, no, please ah. don't do that. Rest. I wish there was a way we could remove her powers and make sure she doesn't victimize anyone else. Oh, did Dennis Bukowski just give me an idea? <laughs> That will stay between us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. After reviewing his record, we hereby grant Mr. Blonsky's release on parole effective immediately. <laughs> As a condition of his parole, Mr. Blonsky is prohibited <laughs> from turning into abomination indefinitely and is ordered to wear an inhibitor in perpetuity. Any violation of this condition will result in his immediate return to prison. An inhibitor. Understood. Mm. Thank you. Just stay out of the It's news. interesting because I thought Bruce asked. was the only I, one that had an inhibitor and it was a prototype. Yeah. Well, you might want to reconsider that. I mean, they're going to write a story about you one way or the other. Yeah. Better to be part of Control it. it. Yeah, control it. Yep. Citizen News. The abomination is now a free man. And here with us in the studio, the lawyer responsible for his release, She-Hulk. Yeah, my name's Jennifer Walters, <laughs> not She-Hulk. And uh, my client's name is Emil Blonsky. Not the abomination. Got it. The high profile <laughs> right. nature of this case and the fact. So tell us, how did you come up with the name She Hulk? Oh, funny story. I didn't. Um, some random guy on the news came up with it after thinking about it for like two seconds, but uh, it stuck. It stuck. Uh, so now, whether I like it or not, I am forever She Hulk. Great. We have to take a break. When we come back, She-Hulk shares her diet and exercise secrets. Oh. <laughs> Puff peas. Puff peas. Yep. Breaking news. Hard hitting. <laughs> it's the wrecking crew. It's a wrecking crew. Oh wait. Oh, she ripped the shoes. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> See you, bulldozer. If you're gonna strut around showing off your powers, you better be able to back Let's go, Rick up. When did I ever strut around and show off my powers? Ooh. Where did they get them? That's all different. <laughs> did you get Robin as guardian construction worker? Yeah. Let's do this. I was gonna say, it looked really at some of them looked really as guardian. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. The enchanted crowbar. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Very bad idea. I admit that did not go exactly as I Tried to inject her. Thunderball. Did you get it? No. Once you turned into She Hulk, I couldn't pierce that nasty green skin. Damn it. Boss gonna be mad. Trying to get a blood. Boss. Boss is gonna be mad. Yep, this is the life you're leading now, Jen. Hi, there's my new favorite client. Just, just your signature there. <laughs> she signed up. And initials up here. <laughs> yes. Show me twerking. And dropping! I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion. I will kill for you! I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion! We got Shulky twerking! I have. Okay, full disclosure, I have no idea who Megan Thee Stallion is, but that was delightful. That was delightful. I, I do just because of this song, and it is such a bop to do to dance to when you're in a mood that's like you want to pick me up it's, it's the twerking song <laughs> it's such a, it's such a bop listen listen to us with our lingo i i was i said i said that she's twerking and that she dropped i'm we're so cool we're so cool, we're so cool and we're with everything we're with the times yeah <laughs> i like that they're doing fun post-credit scenes there's nothing too serious it's just mm. 
fitting into the various story like last episode you got the family and the one before yeah i can't even remember the one before it's well i got really surprised when we we're about to watch because i was like oh we're only up to episode two. Oh, the one before was the steve rogers <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's like no it's already three three episodes yeah i'm really like that doesn't mean i'm like forgetting things it's just it's all forming one long tv show in my brain which is amazing yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's it's fun. I like the episode length. It feels like it's a serialized comic book come to life. Yeah, Like definitely. It feels like we're doing single issues at the moment. As yeah. a, and I don't think the show would work if they were longer episodes. It, it feels nice, condensed, dealing with the story that they want to tell within the episode. While now we've got the building we've plot the- with that ending. Exactly. The Wrecking Crew, who is their boss? Who were they trying to get her blood for? Yep. There are so many potential candidates. And it's just... Mm, it's good. <laughs> it's tantalising. Well, one, who supplied them with their weapons? I just love the, so what did you, Robin, Robin Asgardian... Um, Asgardian... Um, um, tradie. Tradie. Yeah. Construction worker. Construction worker. Yeah. Because um, that looks so... It looks so true. Because it's like, cool, I've got an enchanted helmet. I'm just glad we finally, finally got the Wrecking Crew. Finally! (laughs) Power Driver, Thunderball, Bulldozer, Wrecker! (laughs) So good. Defender 17, first appearance. I I love the Wrecking Crew. They are amazing Thor villains. I've been waiting for them for ages. Them and the Serpent Society. I'm dying for the Serpent Society. They're just just good villains that... Yeah. Yeah. A little bit underpowered at the moment, but... Yeah. It, they're still there. That's the main thing. But yes, it, who is their boss? Who is their boss? So, so many we know we know we've got Daredevil coming up. So could it be something yeah. to do with Kingpin? Could it be um, Echo? I don't think it'd be Echo. I think she's a goodie at the moment. I think she's a goodie. Um, it could be the leader, Samuel Stearns. Ooh. It could be doing something with her blood to treat his. Um, his gamma powers That's and right. because he absorbed the the blood into his eye and started that weird transformation. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yep. I completely forgot about that. It could be the leader. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I got it. No. Or, or it could be um, Valentina De Fontaine mm. leading the thunder Thunderbolts. Mm-hmm. This could be a, a way to get her to get gamma blood and create her own Hulk. Or it could be Thaddeus Ross, even though William Hurt has passed on, unfortunately. Will we get a recasting of General Ross? Mm. There are a lot of potential candidates going on. And I like the mystery. I like knowing the that, Knowing that there's still six episodes to go, I hope this builds on. Um, but a fun episode where it, it was a nice little courtroom... <laughs> Courtroom drama. Tale of two courtroom dramas. Yes. Um, Wong being late every time. Typical Wong. Um, but I like that we got to see Jen present a case. Yes. Um, and do it under a circumstance where she's dealing with her own conflict mm. uh, with the media and her public perception and also the the fear that a Hulk actually brings out in someone or a gamma, yeah. a gamma creature brings out in someone where you saw just how... The, the various people on the parole board, the representatives, some wanted a fair and open, honest discussion, yeah. and the others were not. They'd made up, They'd made up their mind, yeah. clearly. And it was that the different elements convincing and, you know, the character, the character um, witness statements that were, <laughs> that were nice and fun, showing how Emil's done good, good character mm. and, you know, the, the reform programs he's put into the prison. I love Tim Roth. Yes. Tim Roth just having fun he, he's clearly having fun playing this version of emil it's mm. just laid back it's almost right it's almost <laughs> sorry bless you bless it's almost um oh, russell brand it's almost cult god <laughs> he's he's, he's like basically playing russell brand yeah. at the moment and it's fun but it was good that we got to see jen who was initially rocked by wong not showing up because that yeah. was the the witness that she needed and then having her get that get that important statement out but then the again the twist with the well who's to say emil's in control when he's an abomination yep. and then having that extra layer where the transformation caused panic 
I, I like that it that she kept it cool and kept the composure saying, well, he hasn't hurt anyone. He's, yeah. he's made all these steps to better himself. And every time he transformed into Abomination, he could have. Yes. He could have trans. He could have transformed at and any point. People. He could have hurt people. He chose to come back. He has chosen not yeah. to. And it's a, it's a nice way to break down and very and very much simplify mm. um, the parole hearing. But the fourth wall breaking, I like that they've raised it. They've made it nice and you know let's. They made it fun and playful and just you know let's just remind everyone whose show this actually is it's not going to be a cameo fest weekly even though the last three weeks basically has been been. um and we know that there are more to come so it's kind of like a little play play on things to come as well uh but i like that the fourth wall breaking is there and they're doing it they're not relying on it too much but it's just to make nice little points like keep this between you and i that i agree with Uh, dennis gave me an idea (laughs) um and then the nice little fun courtroom (laughs) drama with the light elf yeah, Runa against Douchey Dennis. <sighs> Douchey Dennis. That was. Do you, does would he believe that he is dating a celebrity? Yes, yes, yes. he would. Yes, he would. He very much would. <laughs> and I, I like that it's for some reason they're focusing on building his character. So I'm wondering if he's going to experience some sort of potential <laughs> potential inner growth and not be yeah. a douche by the end of the series. But I like that we're seeing the uh, public perception of She Hulk, where it's taking a lot of. Uh, commentary from the real world and putting mm. it in uh, with the way social media was blowing up um, and some of those lines that they say are actually from Twitter there yeah. are there are videos and there are people who have said why do they have to make her a girl why didn't they just create an original character it's not like it was done in 1980 people by Stanley so it's those little um, meta commentary that they have that mm. I, I think really makes this a fun little series and just her dealing with the public perception and you know actually getting the tip from abomination yeah the the growth that she had throughout it to sit there Mm. and just go well if i ignore it it will go away and then it's the no control your own narrative control your narrative control what they're putting out because you saw literally the reporter just heard heard another guy randomly spout something it was like oh did you know that she hulk she she applied for the avengers yeah she applied for the avengers and got rejected (gasps) they've got a she hulk is carrying abomination's baby. baby Like it's just it, it it's a it's a fun little commentary on just how stupid social media and the news cycle can, can be, be with mm. clickbait journalism and clickbait reporting, but it's a fun show. I like the yeah. episode lengths. Um, yeah, it, it's it's good. It's it, good. It, it's She Hulk. It's exactly what Jen should be. Tatiana Maslany looks like she's having a blast. She does, and I like that she's got those little differences in how she carries herself when she's Jen as as opposed to She Hulk. She's mm. got. And I know a lot of it can be attested to the CGI, but they portray her much more confidently, standing upright and tall. Mm. And the the concept that Jen's kind of the wallflower aspect; she doesn't want to be out there and be seen. But as She Hulk, yeah, you have to be. Well, she's she's kind of because all eyes are on her. She shrinks down and she's mm. meek and just withdrawn more. And she just wants to do the job. She doesn't want to be the center of attention, and it's completely different when she sh- when she is in Hulk form. Mm. Uh, and I like those little. It's like Christ- It's it's like Christopher Reeve when he transforms from su- um from Clark Kent to Superman, Superman. just the changing of the posture. Changing posture. Subtle little things, subtle little differences. The differences of like Superman being what is it five eleven? No, sorry, Kent being like five eleven, but Superman being six three. Six yeah, six six four six five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the just the posture, posture change and yeah, yeah. But no, it's 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 a fun show, and I like that they're car- um, portraying different elements of the character, and also seeing how she's interacting um, with the with the uh, GLK yeah. and H firm and the different people. Yeah, but yeah, it's really enjoyable. I just love it. It's fun. It's fun. It's lighthearted it's fun. fun, and you don't have to think too much about it. Yeah, it's it's all there. But they've now got that nice little mystery going that I hope they build upon um, next episode a little bit more. Anyway, tell us your thoughts in the comments. I'm Trent. I'm Julia. And as always, keep keep it nerdy. nerdy.